everybody welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbook needs and more i am here with the i think the final minte i still have some more little squares to you so i don't know i might make a little banner i'm not sure yet but for now we'll, we'll just say it, it might be the final <laughs> But then again, you never know. So anyway, um, you know I wanted to make a little book with these little teeny tiny um, journaling cards that come in the 6x6 six six, uh, book. Now, what I will tell you is that problem number one, my camera was not on when I cut them and when I folded them in half and when I glued them together. So you missed out on that part <laughs> and I'm, I apologize, but all I did was I took each one. Um, as you know, they come on a strip like this. So I cut them in strips of two to each and I folded them in half and then I glued them together to form a little book. So that's what all that you missed. Um, because the rest is prep work that I always do ahead of time. Um, so that's what you missed as far as the book portion assembly goes. And it's very easy. I did pick on the back of these. Some of them have frames. Some have a, a picture. I chose the one with the picture because that's the first page you're going to see when you open the book. So that's why I chose that one. I did cut out some extra ones for the inside covers and for the back cover. Now for the front cover and the back cover, I did back them in black cardstock just to make them a little sturdier because I just want this book to be a little little sturdy. It's not it's never going to be like super sturdy. There's no chipboard, but just so that you know, that's what I did. Now how to make the actual book base the base is two and an eighth across by three and three quarters. And you're going to have to make two score marks to make the spine. And the way to do that is to put it into your scoreboard, score it one and three quarters, turn it around, score it at one and three quarters again. So now we have our little spine and we have our little book cover. Now, before I put the pages in, I'm going to add my cutesy little um, covers and inside and the pages for the inside. So I'm going to put on my front cover and my back cover. And this is a super fast and easy project, but it's going to be so stinking cute because, you know, it's tiny and I love everything tiny. So I'm just going to put this on the front it the best that I can it doesn't have to be perfect so there's my front cover okay and then I'll do my back one and again I backed it with the black cardstock just to give it a little heft so my covers feel a little bit more secure again this is not the kind of project that you need to use chipboard and all that it's just very small so don't worry about that I'm going to just put this one back here. Okay. I didn't think of making a little strip for the spine. I might, if I can find a little strip in my garbage. <laughs> and then we can just put these two in here. And then I will show you how to glue your pages together. But let me look for a little strip to maybe do the spine too. Because I would like to have a little spine done. Sorry for my cat screaming out there. If you can hear him. For those of you who don't follow me on Facebook. Um, my beloved Calvin cat passed away last year. Um, he was only eight. And... It's been total devastation since he's been gone. Um, he was my baby. 
and we thought long and hard before we got another cat but another one needed to be rescued and he needed us just like we needed him so yeah i'll just use this I'm, i just pulled this strip out of here and i'm just trying to grab the piece that has the most color on it for this um so yeah i don't really like to talk about losing calvin but um you guys were used to seeing him jump up in my videos and so forth and so i had to tell you um but since then we rescued a cat and his name is lucky and he has brought us so much joy um when i tell you devastation with calvin anybody that knows me knows how much i love that cat and i i like couldn't even get out of bed <laughs> i just you know our animals our family you know we don't treat our animals like animals they're they're our family they're our babies and so it was not good um but he died in my arms he had a sudden heart attack um and so now we have a rescue and our little guy lucky is so adorable but he has very bad separation anxiety so whenever somebody leaves the room and he can't see you he cries he cries so much the poor thing just bless his heart i feel so bad i it breaks my heart um he was uh, dumped he was somebody's cat at some point um and he was dumped and he had a collar on no microchip he was a baby when he was dumped and so he has a lot of separation anxiety he also does this thing where he constantly is sniffing um, because he was constantly sniffing for food. So it's very sad because, you, you know, you just, your heart breaks when, when you see that. Um, you don't ever want an animal to go through that. It's just, it's so sad. Anyway, um, believe me, he's being spoiled now and he's going to to be fine <laughs> trust me on that i was thinking of putting a little a little trim on this so hold on let me grab my trim and see if i'm gonna like it but you know how that goes sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i was thinking maybe a little trim on this would look cute uh before i put the pages in like i said this is such a fast quick and easy tutorial there's not much for me to to say <laughs> not much for me to say um, let me see. Do I want this little trim on here? Yeah, that's cute. And you couldn't put, you can put on your trim with, um, the art glitter glue, especially since it's not really so much trim, but I'm going to use my, um, Fabri-Tac. And the fabric tack is what we use to put the pages in. Hmm. I had to clean that top of that glue bottle. No wonder the glue was hardly coming out. It was all messed up. Okay, so let's, I know, we're not supposed to shake it, but I shake it anyway. I get so impatient, guys. I really do. <laughs> I just want it to... Let's just start going. I'm starting to run low on this one. I have another one, but I like to use as much as possible. <laughs> you know how it goes, guys. You want to use every drop of it, especially this, because it is expensive. And May has all of the glues in her shop. And before I forget again, 
Don't forget that you can use my code. It's Michelle with two L's, DT, and you get 15% off of your purchase, which is incredible. I can't believe that she's doing that. Um, it doesn't surprise me because it's May. <laughs> doesn't surprise me at all, but it still is very nice, especially, you know, she's just starting out and to, to still give a discount is really, really sweet. And it's very much appreciated. I know that you guys appreciate it. I know that you guys are shopping. I know that you guys are having fun, looking up everything. I hope that you get this Minte. I, I really hope you get it, guys, because I'm telling you, you're not going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry if you don't get it. How about that? <laughs> I'm just making sure it's going the right way. And I like the fabric tech gives me a little bit of a chance to move it if I have to. And I'm going to just cut that little piece off there. Ah, that looks cute. Okay, so now this is how we glue in this spine. You're going to put fabric tech all over this spine of the book. All those pages that we stuck together, you're gonna put fabric tack. And you see I'm kind of, I'm not globbing it on, but I'm making sure that each piece is getting glue on it. That's very, very important because this is what is going to be in your spine it has to sit in the spine so being very generous but not to the point where it's all going to ooze out and then i'm going to take this and i'm going to center it right in my spine just like so and i'm going to clip it now, the reason I'm clipping it is because I need that glue to set up. Um, so it, it needs some time, guys. It's not, it doesn't set up right away. You know how Fabri-Tac is. So I'm going to keep this clipped. And in the meantime, I did have an idea, which I thought was kind of cute. You know, I like cutesiness. Um, I thought that that little book would look so cute displayed in this adorable little um, sleigh. This is an ornament from Dollar Tree. Of course, I'm going to cut this off. I don't need it as an ornament. And I'm going to definitely cut this. Oh, I see how they have that in there. Okay, well, that's interesting. They have it in there with a wire. That's different. So let me see if I can undo this. Am I, or am I making it tighter? I never know which way with these. And then I get aggravated and I'm like, forget it. Let me just rip it out of there. Am I going the right way or what? I can't tell. I can't tell, guys. So, you know what? I'm going to just cut it. Because I want to add a pink bow. I think the evergreen is cute with the pine cone, but I need a pink bow of mine. I was thinking maybe it should go... Well, I don't know. Let me see here. Wow, they really got that in tight. Hmm. All right. Let me cut this wire. I just thought it would be cute as a little for presentation to just sit it in there. Okay, here's my thing. Let me, I'm going to do a little seam binding 
finger bow scrunched up. Definitely needs pink. <laughs> Definitely needs pink, guys. And you guys need no introduction to these bows. You've seen me make these about, I don't know how many times. <laughs> there we go. Pull my little loops out. I'm probably going to make it a little scrunchy, grungy, not grungy, but you know, shabby looking. So I'll roll it up like a little meatball, <laughs> like a little meatball. <laughs> don't need that red I know that that um that buffalo check oh my gosh that is so like every may sent these to me these little stamens I'm gonna try these to wire it back in so let's see see how successful we are we may not be but we'll try it um maybe put one on either side of the pine cone um but yeah that buffalo check is everywhere and i have to say i like it it just it's just not my decor you know what i mean but i will say that i do like it it's pretty and when people do it they they it seems like they do it so nice and i i love how they do it but it just, for me to change up everything would be like crazy. <laughs> that would be insane. I think my husband would just divorce me if I was like, oh yeah, we're changing our whole Christmas theme. I don't, I don't think that would go over well. I don't know, but I, I just don't think so. So let me get this there and I'll put this one in here because it looks like that's what they did they just wired this pine cone and the ribbon and everything on and into that thing so we'll try it let me try it I don't know how successful will be, but we'll try it. And this has to go here. And I guess twist it. And again, you can get this little sled at Dollar Tree. They always have them. Every Every year they have them. And then this in here. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm liking that pine cone. After I just did that, I don't like the pine cone. I don't know. I guess because it's brown and it, it's just not going to match what I want it to match. So let's just go with these little, maybe we'll go with three. Go with three of them. Let me see. Let me just... All right. Let's see. Let me grab one more. I think three will look nice. And then we'll put the bow and these and wrap it. This is when I had the problems with my hands. Oh, wow. You would think it would be so easy to do, but it hurts. Hmm. 
I wish it didn't hurt as bad. It would be easier to do. And I'm fraying my ends as I go along because it's messing up. All right. So let's do this. And just twist that. And it looks like they just put it into these two holes here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them into this, this hole here, this hole here. And then we'll see how this goes. This went from an easy project to... too complicated you know not really complicated it just there we go and then I gotta fiddle with it so it looks right there we go let me cut these now I could cut those oh I cut that short didn't I hmm Hopefully it won't fall out. I might have to add some hot glue to that. But it's so cute. Let's check out our book, see how it's going. What I like to do is once the glue is set up for a little bit, I like to take my bone folder and just kind of go in between the pages, just like this, to make sure that they're all stuck to the spine. Oh my gosh, this book is so stinking cute. There we go. And it is. Look at, oh my gosh, look at how cute. Put it in the sled. <laughs> love it. I love it. I just love it. I'll probably hot glue this because I don't like how that's sitting. Um, or else I might have my husband just tighten it up with some pliers because I don't have anything to make it really tight. Um, but I was thinking, huh, maybe we should put a little tag in there too to go with it. Let me see if I have a, I have a black piece of paper. So let's see. You guys now gotta use it all. And I still have those little pieces left. So not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. Um I was thinking maybe like a little mini banner. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But whatever I decide to do, you'll be included you'll be part of it maybe put this little little tag in there just i feel like it needs something ah <sighs> what is it what does it need it needs something i don't know i don't have marabou marabou would have been cute in there maybe a piece of No, that doesn't really match. I don't know. I feel like it needs something, guys. You know how I am. I feel like it needs something. Maybe not. Maybe it just needs to be left alone. I definitely have to tighten that up, though. That I don't. I don't like that. Oh, there, I tightened it. Okay. So maybe just like a little... No, I don't think I like that in there. Unless we make it like a little... If we make it like a little ornament, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see, because I can always take this off. So much glue guys <laughs> the glue is everywhere we used all kinds of glue today um because i really wanted to get this done make it like a little ornament maybe that will make it better
And now that it's got the little, oh yeah, that's, that is so sweet. Look, guys, look at how stinking cute. And our little book is so perfect. The pages are all glued in there now. Nice. Everything is going the right way. And we have a little Christmas storybook. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. I just can't. I just can't take it. It's too cute. So there you have it, guys. Another little project with the Minte Time of Wonders. I'm not going to say it's the last because I still have one more sheet of the of these. And I might want to make like a little banner or something. So I'm not calling it quits yet. <laughs> but we did get quite a few projects done with this paper. And without a lot of paper, which I loved. Um, we really conserved the paper in a great way so that we were able to get a lot of projects out of it. I love when it works out that way. I hope that you are enjoying this as much as I am. I absolutely love this. Oh, you know, I have these branches too. This little, I forget what they call this, lambs, lambs something. I think that's what they call it, lamb ears or something. Maybe we could put that in there in our sleigh too. Or is that going to be overkill? Yeah, that's overkill. Too big. Too big. Maybe if it was smaller. I think that looks good. Just as is with the little book and a little ornament. And how cute. This is going to look so cute all set up with every piece matching. I absolutely love it. I hope you love it too. And that's all the crafting for today, guys. Um, Like I said, I still have some left. So we might do a little bit more. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll see. I'm going to have a little think about it because you know me, I don't like to waste paper and I really don't like just having one scrap to put away. You know what I mean? I just, it doesn't make sense to me. I like to have, um, you know, more than, more than one. Oh, I even have this guy, this little, this little Santa this came from um, Walmart. He was $1.98. But what we could do, let me get that out of there. Oh, that's not wire. No wonder it wasn't cutting. It's not wire. We can put him by his sleigh. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Let me zoom out so you can see. Oh, happening here. So here we have Santa and his little sleigh, his little minty sleigh. Super, super cute. I hope you guys love it. You know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.